Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out the new L'Oreal Age Perfect range. So I have picked up the BB cream, the concealer and the radiant satin blush in the shade amber. So these products are brand new. I got mine online from the Boots website. They did not seem to be in store when I went in earlier this week, so they may just be online only. So the BB cream was $10.99, the concealer was $9.99, and the blush, although it's $7.99, I got free because it is currently three for two on this range. So you get to pick up one of your items for free. It will be the cheapest item. You don't get to choose. So this range is supposed to be anti aging and I don't think it doesn't seem to be because it has anti-aging ingredients like a skincare type of product it's much more because it's giving you a luminous glowing lit from within kind of finish and it's also supposed to blur fine lines and wrinkles so it's kind of reducing any texture any signs of aging yeah I guess we'll give it a go and see how we get on so as always when I'm trying a new foundation or obviously this is a BB cream I have gone in with my Stila One Step Corrector as my primer just because it's not going to interfere it's not going to like help the foundation with finish or like give it crazy lasting power or anything like that I guess I'm going to shake it so I have the shade I said like light medium which I'm just not I guess I feel like I was kind of right in between the light medium and the medium deep obviously two shades is not very helpful so who knows I mean this looks very light but I guess as it's a BB cream maybe it won't be so much of a problem um so it's not moving on my sponge at all so it's obviously quite thick maybe it has a slight smell but nothing too cray cray I mean that is really light so should have gone with a darker shade but then at the same time I don't like I mean if I'm in the deepest shade then what the hell are the rest of us doing do you know what I mean it's way too light so I would say at the absolute darkest this is gonna give you maybe an NC25 could use this and it'd be an okay match and I've used all of that and I don't really feel like anything has happened so yeah there's definitely no coverage here whatsoever to speak of so that's worth knowing I do feel like it is kind of evening things out a bit it's doing something nice to my skin I feel like I feel like things are getting a bit smoother, a bit more even. There's definitely a nice little glow happening, but as far as like dealing with redness or covering anything at all, no. I'm gonna go on on the brush side and see if we have any more luck there. And obviously I did use a decent amount of product to get no coverage, so that's interesting. This is so light. I mean, it's literally going on. It doesn't look like um, you know, I know it's a BB cream, but it doesn't look like a foundation or even like a BB cream that I have used at all. It's just kind of going on completely clear. Getting any better of a coverage with a brush, so that is a no. I mean, it's going on nice, isn't it? It's definitely going into my skin. There's no, there's no problem. It is like actually I can smell it quite a bit more now but it's not still not really a strong scent it's really refreshing like it feels really nice and cooling and hydrating on the skin it smells a bit like maybe like a like a a sun cream or something like an expensive sun cream something like a piz booin piz booin so it still looks like I have absolutely nothing on it still looks crazy light on me I mean I don't even know if there's any point in trying to build this up because I'm building it up from nothing to still nothing literally nothing looks like nothing looks like I haven't done anything it does look a bit more glowy does look maybe a little bit more smooth than I did at the beginning but you can still see all of my redness 
I mean, why not? Let's try and build up. I mean, do you see how much I've used? I feel like this is going to last me about three goes. It's still not, there's no problem with layering that. I'm not having, it's not caking, nothing bad's happening, even though I've put half of the bottle on my face. Okay, so that is like a good, good couple of layers now and I guess maybe it has slightly reduced some of my redness. I mean, of course, it looks literally as if there is absolutely nothing on my skin because there practically is. You would never think that I was wearing makeup at all. But, I mean, I'm essentially not. But yeah, I guess it, do, it does look very fresh, very smooth. And I do kind of feel like actually it does kind of look a bit like my skin does look younger because it is like just... It has kind of just taken the edge of the like the harsh redness that I have on my skin. It's not settled in my smile lines at all. And even though I did put quite a lot on, there's no caking, there's no bunching up, there's no issues with that. It does feel lovely on the skin, really refreshing, cooling, hydrating. I think you would love this if you have dry skin, but obviously only if you are looking for like no coverage. It does not have really like any coverage at all it's completely sheer which i guess is a good thing given that it was so light <laughs> so i guess let's give the concealer a go and see if that helps us out a little bit so i picked up the shade one light i think there was only three shades and again there was quite a big jump from light to medium so i went with the light this has quite a strong oh my, quite a strong Perfume smell. Oh, okay. Oh, so this has, oh, oh. Okay. That is making my eye water. Wow, okay. That's, oh no, don't go down there. I mean, I may as well just put this over my whole face. That's really stinging my eye. That is really stinging my eye. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So, yeah, it's, irritating my eyes like the second I started putting that on that was stinging my eyes calm down a bit now but that's weird I don't know if that's because of like the scent or what calm down now so that's okay so it's gone quite a long way I didn't double dip I've just literally pulled that out and I've been able to I mean, this again, it looks so light. I guess maybe you could put this underneath in the areas where you want some coverage before the BB cream. That might be a good way to go. The shade is fine for me, light. But again, I guess that means that for someone who has very light skin, it's not gonna be all right, but it has like such light coverage. It's very hydrating a lot sort of lighter than most um, and thinner than most concealers that I generally use. Really like sort of thin, hydrating consistency. Do you know what, that's covered quite well. I wasn't really expecting it to have covered anything given like the experience we've just had with the BB cream and how thin it was. That's actually covered nicely. And this is now starting to look a bit more even now because I guess luckily for me a lot of my redness is around here so the concealer has kind of you know hit those spots where I really struggle and on my chin and my nose so I'm lucky in that respect that I guess the areas I want to cover are the areas you would generally put concealer anyway but this is literally looking like absolutely no makeup makeup so if that's what you're looking for I think you would really like this. It feels like nothing, literally looks like nothing, but it has just taken the edge off. This would be really good for, like if you're trying to sort of, you know, look like, like if, I guess ironically, if you're not really allowed to wear makeup to school or something, this would help, but given that it's a, you know, an anti-aging makeup, that would be a bit ironic, but it's not gonna do you any harm if you 
if you don't need the anti-aging. So finally, I'm gonna try out this blush. So I had to obviously order this online. Can't actually get in. I had to order this online because it doesn't seem to be in the shops yet, or it didn't when I went in on Wednesday. Um, and they literally, they, I think there's four shades and they all looked exactly the same. So this is the shade Amber, but honestly, there was a peach and amber, I think a rose shade, um, and one other that I can't remember. And they all just look the same in the, in the like thumbnail, they looked basically the same. You get this little brush, which I'm not going to be using because I mean, no. So yeah, I tried to steer away from the peach shade because I have 5,000 peach blushes. I definitely don't need another one. So I was trying to go slightly out of my comfort zone, but at the same time, they basically all looked the same. So yeah, you get this is where the little brush goes in here and there's a tiny little mirror, which yeah, I guess if you're traveling is an okay size. I can see approximately half of my face, which I guess is all you need to see. This is supposed to be, you know, quite a glowy bronzer. There's some pigment in there, that I will say, some pigment. Ooh, okay. Looks decent, looks decent. Hmm, very glowy. So let's see, I'm gonna tap off quite a bit of kick up in the pan, but that's okay. Ooh, do you know what? Like a little bit of a pat and I, you know, tap that off. There's definitely decent pigment in there. So this blush is supposed to like not emphasize any texture. It's supposed to be quite glowy. Obviously give you a bit of a youthful glow. Yeah, it's definitely got the pigment. It's a nice shade. Doesn't smell. Just checking. Blending out lovely though despite the fact that I decided to put half of the tub on my face. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom you in so we can kind of check this out, the situation together. Okay, so we are nice and zoomed in. As you can see, that blush is just really beautifully glowing. There isn't any shimmer, there isn't any glitter. It just looks really luminous, which I love. I'm really liking that blush. But here you can see the problem that I've got. So all of my redness is still peeking through. And I guess maybe you would expect that with a BB cream, but for me to sort of use this kind of product with any regularity, I'd need it to like cover my redness. I mean, I've literally just put it on. So I feel like throughout the day, it's going to be even more visible. So I may as well at that point have nothing on, I guess is how I feel. But it's got a lovely finish, it's very, very natural, it's very, very lightweight. And if you are the sort of person who wants to look like you've got no makeup on or literally doesn't want to wear makeup or hates foundation or hates the feel of foundation, this is gonna be your type of product because it feels and looks like you have nothing on. Very natural, very smoothing very hydrating very refreshing on the skin like i literally feel like i've got a fan on my face it's so cooling and refreshing but yeah the coverage is like a not even a one out of ten there is like basically none so the time is like 11 15 on the dot and we'll give this the usual eight hours to see how it wears throughout the day Welcome back everybody. So it is now just gone half past seven. So that takes us just past the eight hour mark. And to be honest, I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting. It's quite hard to be honest to, to know how well it's worn because you can't really see the BB cream, you know, on the skin, it, it did just look like nothing and it still looks like nothing. You can see my redness is peeking through here, but it was the whole time that that was never covered up. Um, but the fact that like my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight is still very much there and alive and hanging in makes me think that this has worn really well, which I was very surprised by because given that, you know, there was barely anything there, I kind of was expecting it to all be gone. And actually it's been a really hot day 
well, it's not been a hot day, it's been a freezing day, but I've had my heating on very, very hot today in my house. So, you know, it's been warm. I've been like playing with my kids a lot. So there's been a lot of like transfer or rubbing. I haven't noticed any transfer. I haven't noticed it rubbing off on clothes or anything like that. Um, and yeah, I was expecting to sort of come and look in my mirror to film my um, check-in and it be literally completely gone like I have nothing on my face. And it doesn't look like that, it looks okay. So I actually think it wears pretty well. So I guess my final thoughts as far as the BB cream is that it's not really for me. I kind of, you know, I at least wanna cover my redness, otherwise I just wouldn't bother. If I was gonna have a, a full on no makeup day, then I'd probably just wanna focus on skincare when I wanna put anything on my skin. And this doesn't really seem to claim to have you know, much skincare ingredients in it. So if I was gonna go that end of things and not have any foundation on, I would just have be having a skincare makeup free day. Um, but if, if not, then even, you know, a light foundation, I want it to cover my redness completely and this doesn't do that. It is also, as you can see, I look a little bit oily on my forehead and things like that. So yeah, it's not my favorite. I feel like you can buy BB creams that have that just that little touch more coverage to them or you can buy foundations that have skincare ingredients in them. So I think I definitely would prefer my um, Urban Decay One and Done over this. And if you are looking for like a BB cream with a very light, coverage but some coverage then I would recommend that one over this one however if you are looking for something that gives no coverage that is not going to cover redness or discoloration or anything like that and even skin tone you just want something that's going to smooth that's going to give you a little bit of luminosity to the skin that's going to look and feel like absolutely nothing then this might be worth a go for you so moving on to concealer concealer looks to be pretty much in place still holding up it definitely covered my dark circles i can't really see those peeking through however it's definitely creased more than like my mac pro Longwear. i feel like it's exaggerating the lines under my eyes which as far as i'm aware is supposed to be the opposite of what this is supposed to do so that's a kind of a miss for me I really, really like this blush. I think because this foundation is so light on my skin, which is the biggest problem of all, because like I said, I would have to use the darkest shade because there's only two shades. And so, you know, very few people is this gonna work for shade wise. Um, so because of that reason, my bronzer and my blush looked way too heavy for me today because in contrast to the very, very light, hardly anything there, foundation or BB cream this was like a bit in my face however it's just got the most beautiful glow that I love it really is true to its name it does not exaggerate any texture in fact I would say it's quite smoothing but I just love that glow on the skin it literally looks wet there is no shimmer no sparkle just like dewy glow and I really like the shade I'm really pleased with that the packaging is quite nice here you can see, I'm just gonna sort of blend it out a little bit. So this one, if I didn't say before, is the shade Amber. And it reminds me of like a MAC Sincere, a NARS Madly, it's kind of in that similar shade range, just sort of neutral, warm toned, slightly coppery kind of shade. Just with that gorgeous like luminosity to it, I really, really like that. I will definitely use this again and it's quite a nice travel item because it's plastic um, and it's also got that handy little mirror in there. So for me this is kind of the win from the collection so far. I have purchased the foundation and I'm going to be trying that out very very soon if it hasn't already gone up so I'm excited to try that for the sort of finish and everything that the BB cream claim to have but that little bit more coverage so I'm excited to see how I get on with that you also have more shades in the foundation so let's see how that gets on so that is it for me I really hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave so I can see you again otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye